Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. Guys, it is Monday morning. We are here to drop the first piece of WWE 2K20 early release footage. We have the My Career Mode gameplay. This is going to be the first hour. And by first hour, I mean without uh, the loading screens. I'm going to cut that out for you. They're not even really that long, but I just want you guys to see the gameplay and the cutscenes and stuff like that. Get in, get out easy but um yeah i i honestly really like the first hour i was very impressed i'm not gonna spoil it for uh you know for those who want to watch it or for those who don't want to watch it <laughs> but uh yeah first game or uh, first hour of the gameplay is really dope so what i did here i basically just created my female my player and my male my player i did it really quick i wasn't trying to you know make the best superstar I was just trying to get in get out so i can get to these cutscenes and stuff like that so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload i'm going to be bringing you guys so much wwe 2k20 early footage so you don't want to miss it and let's get in to the career mode red was one of the toughest opponents i ever faced no matter how hard i hit her which was pretty hard she never backed down Sorry, it feels strange to stand up here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there too. And tonight's no different. They truly are a package deal. They've always had each other's backs, and that was certainly the case when I faced off against Red in a Money in the Bank ladder match here and talk about her in the past tense. Don't get me wrong, I'm honored to do this, but I never thought it would happen so soon for Red or her best friend, Trey. Wherever Red went, Trey was there. That'll affect your chances here tonight. Of course it will. You need to be fully rested if you want to win a grueling match like this. And Red came into tonight running on fumes. There she goes. To the outside. Oh, man. Boom! <laughs> Knee strikes. Oh, man. Gosh, why? A oh, foot just stomping down. Nice amateur takedown. She goes to the outside now. I think she's starting to get worried, Michael. Oh! Back suplex. Everyone must bow to the queen, especially her opponent. Oh, boom. In a bad way here, guys. Ronda Rousey connected with a good shot there. Back in the ring again. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Point of the elbow, nailed it. This is... Not where you want to be. Oh, yeah, who's showing? Boom, right at the button. She scores big with the counter. Nice arm bar stretch. Very painful. That's how you punish your opponent. Multiple stops. Jump! It's going to be a race to the briefcase between Red and Ronda Rousey. Hold on, the rest of their opponents are not ready for this match to be over. And Red and Ronda come crashing down. It's an absolute free-for-all to see who's gonna get the money in the bank briefcase. Ronda and Red have recovered, and I think they might have other plans. Oh, no. This is total chaos. The window of opportunity is now wide open for Red and Ronda Rousey. Not a step up in Zagari. Right in the ear. She's in full control now. Oh, what a slam. Ronda Rousey got out of there in time. Neckbreaker. That could be it. What a great job by Zelina Vega to take advantage. Talk about 
dismantling your opponent. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. Power. Sit down. Power bomb. Down to the floor. Heavy duty right hand. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. Red setting up for something big. Well, if Red thinks she can match Ronda Rousey with strikes, then she's insane. And now Ronda is punishing Red. Is it too late to change my pick? Wait a second, Red reverses. Zelina Vega has recovered and is setting up a ladder. She's using everything she has left to drag herself up each run, but will it be enough? It might not be. Red's going to try to beat Zelina to the top. Hold on, it's Andrade. What's he doing out here? Is he putting Zelina Vega on his shoulders? How is this legal? It's not only legal, it's smart. It's Trey. I think he's seen enough from Andrade. Trey has neutralized Andrade. And that was the opening Red needed. This pains me to admit, Byron, but you might have been right about your prediction. She's going to do it. In her first attempt, Red is going to win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Wait, it's Ronda Rousey. This isn't over yet. Ronda's got Red's arm. Arm ball on the top of the ladder. She's got it locked in. Red's in big trouble. Yeah, it's going to be hard for her to grab a briefcase with a broken arm. Can she escaped before it's too late? Uh, this truly is a historic day. I don't think I've seen you dressed up since our senior prom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our one and only date together because no one else would go with us. I remember showing up in that sweet, homemade, million-dollar man suit. Didn't you wear a cane mask? No wonder we couldn't get dates. To be fair, the theme of the prom was a masquerade. Eh, still weird. You have the list, right? No, I thought you had it. Seriously? I put it in the safe just like you told me to. Man, the way you treat that thing, you'd think it was the Magnet Carta. Did you say Magnet? Yeah, it's some really old, valuable Magnet, right? Just get it out of there. No one was going to break into a hotel room and steal an old piece of notebook paper from high school. It's not just an old piece of paper. That list has been the roadmap to our entire careers, and now there's only one thing left to cross off. Did you forget the combination? It might have slipped my mind, but don't worry, I wrote it down on my phone. Which is also in the safe. This is why I always said we should have got the list tattooed on us. No chance of losing it and we'd have way more street cred. Yeah? Well, I'm gonna be getting a teardrop tattoo if you don't get that thing open. This is what's going to give us confidence, recognition, success, everything we've ever wanted. Your Earth Science Notebook is going to do all that? No. We're going to use it to make a list of everything we'll accomplish someday when we become WWE superstars. We could do that. Or we could play my favorite lunchtime game, Guess What Mr. Bowman's Sweat Stains Look Like Today. I'm kind of seeing a heart shape. What do you think? I think you need to take this seriously. Besides, it's a proven fact that if you write down your goals, it helps you achieve them. Actually, now I'm thinking it looks more like a one-eared rabbit. Fine. I'll go first to get the ball rolling. Become WWE Divas Champion. Your turn. Okay. Star in a WWE action movie. Really? That's one of your goals? Do you want me to do the list or not? Besides, it's a proven fact, WWE action movies are some of the finest pieces of cinematic art ever produced, so it would be an honor to appear in one. Whatever. 
Train at the dungeon. Come up with awesome wrestling names. Team with Mickey James. Get my own action figure. Compete on NXT. Win a dance off. Wrestle Lita. Find out what's inside Undertaker's urn. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Be in a WWE video game. Win a ladder match. I've got a match for you. My butt, your face. What are you two fartwads doing? This table is reserved for wrestling team members only. I thought there was a lot of boogers stuck underneath it. <laughs> Bunny, you can leave now. Sorry, we're busy. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey! Being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> That was a huge mistake. Uh -oh. I, for one, can't wait to see Red put Brooklyn in her place. Thanks so much for unbiased commentary. Hey, this is Red's memory of how it went down, so of course I'm pulling for her. You are too. Oh, yeah. This reminds me of that movie with the spinning top. Everything's confusing and a little bit off. For example, I wasn't even a WWE commentator when Red was in high school. You're barely a WWE commentator now. None of this makes sense. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, Saxton. Brooklyn Von Braun is a terrible human being and deserves everything she's getting here tonight. I could not agree more, Michael. I couldn't believe what Brooklyn did to their list. I mean, what did she expect was going to happen after that? Yeah, if you ask me, a Brooklyn's the real squad. This reminds me of the time I stood up to my bully in high school after years of being picked on. Weren't you homeschooled? Uh, yeah, but my sister was pretty tough back then. Brooklyn might have an opening here. Brooklyn gets nailed with the sliding lunch tray takedown. Can Red capitalize? She's going up top. Red with the picture perfect moonsault. That's it. It's all over. Red cemented herself as way tougher and cooler than Brooklyn will ever be. That's exactly what happens when you make fun of Red. You pay dearly. I'm still kind of confused about everything that just happened, guys. Well, don't hurt your imaginary head, Byron. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. You remember your fight with Brooklyn when we were in high school taking place in a WWE arena with a ring sold out crowd and commentators? The guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning my memory? No, the guy who can't remember the safe combination is questioning your sanity. Whatever. I may have taken a few liberties with my story, but that is how I choose to remember it. Well, as much as I'd love to join you in rewriting history, that day is scorched into my brain because that's how I got my nickname, Trey. This is how it really went down. Get my own action figure, become WWE Divas Champion. Is this some kind of WWE nerd vision board? Hey, being immortalized in semi-posable plastic is the greatest thing a human being can achieve. Don't ever touch our stuff again. What, like this? <laughs> that was a huge mistake. Oh no, I've unleashed Hothead Red. I'm gonna take that marker, bring it to your grandmother's nursing home and cross out parts of her chart so when the nurse goes to give her turndown service, she won't know to flip her over. That's right, I'm gonna give your grandmother bed sores. 
What is wrong with you? Calm down. Deep breaths. Maybe we can talk this out. I'm done talking. <laughs> this is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. What are you going to do? Hit me with a steel chair? Put me through a table? Oh, hit her with the chair. Oh, hit her, hit her. I'm going to get help. <laughs> Everyone already knows Hothead Red, but let me introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. Now her face matches her nickname. That could have been way worse. Yeah. Brooklyn could have posted a video of the whole thing online. Oh, wait. That's exactly what she did. I meant she could have dumped something worse on me, like mayo or hot sauce. And hey, at least she didn't destroy our list. So what? I'm not going to do any of those things anyway. What do you mean? We were just embarrassed in front of the entire school and currently 672 people on the Internet. I bet a bunch of those are repeat views. Great. We're not even touching on the fact that I got beat up by a lunch tray. I'm never going to be a WWE superstar. I'll just go to college and get a lame job like my parents want me to. <sighs> I think you need to read the letter again. See? This is what I'm talking about. I can't even open my locker. What's your combination? 16339, I think. Letter, please. Here we go. I think this section is relevant right now. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams no matter what they might be, to become anything you want. Using the only letter I have from my real parents as some sort of motivational speech is kind of a cheap move. They're right, though. You got a second chance in life, and you need to make the most of it. So why sell yourself short? You need to at least try. Fine. But when this whole WWE thing doesn't work out, I'm blaming you. It'll work out. I promise. Assuming you never have to wrestle a lunch tray. They're actually a lot tougher than they look. Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. <laughs> but did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it. Finally. Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day. I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane.
I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in falls count anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of Falls Count Anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. Oh, man. Everything in this match is legal, and we have cameras all over the arena. So wherever these superstars' imagination takes them, you won't miss any of the action. And you need a limitless imagination to win a match like this. You have to stay on the attack because fortunes can change with just one move. Yeah, especially in a situation where a limitless amount of real estate is your battleground. Bam! Suplex! He's just dominating at this point. Yeah, when he's going like this, no telling how long he'll keep it up. That's a good way to make your presence felt. He just cannot be caught. Ooh, that kick. AJ Styles with the offense. He's just in so much pain right now. Oh, man. Producing a trampling. Head crank. Ooh-wee. Up in the fireman's carry. Avoiding trouble there. This is how people end up getting hurt. Nasty drop. Engineering right on the mark. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Perhaps looking to take the action to the outside here. Impressive was that reversal. Look at this. Snap Ooh. suplex. AJ Styles beginning to peter out here. Things are not looking good for him right now. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Styles is always thinking. Real quick, in case we have any newbies watching, a falls count anywhere match means that this contest can literally end anywhere. Simple, right? Even Saxton can understand those rules. Who does this methodical pace benefit? A striking blow. AJ Styles seems helpless. Down on the neck with reckless abandon. And AJ Styles makes him pay. Wow, what a sequence. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. Let's hope for his sake that he can keep performing at this level. It's a tall order.
Hooked up. And back to the torso here. Eliminate the core. This is a great move. Look at this. Snap suplex. Oh, the reversal by AJ Styles. Whoa, it's another reversal. Straight oh. punch. Uh-oh. Shot in the back. Rolling cutter. We don't capitalize. AJ Styles is in trouble. You can say that again, Saxton, but I don't want to hear you talk. Let's see that. He can end it here. I can't believe it. He won the match. Let's watch again how AJ Styles was toppled tonight. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here. He was on point the entire match. Here is your winner, the Superstar. But guys, wait, wait. Uh-oh. Now this match will continue. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Wow, huge pinfall win here tonight. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. We all said some crazy stuff over the years, but no need to go into it right now. Thanks again for the kind words, Natty. Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's... Interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss no. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. I, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean... A big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that f Maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. 
Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible, considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is going to be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Wilson here, welcoming you back to Calgary Musings, your guide to living in the Stampede City. You know, it's that time of year where I like to remind everyone that in just a couple of short months, winter will be back. So while you're out enjoying the end of summer, keep in mind that pretty soon you'll be trading in tank tops for toques and sandals for skates. My point is, it's never too early to take inventory of last season's winter gear and make sure everything is ready to go before the first blast of cold air hits. And like I always say, you don't want to be caught with your snow pants down. One thing that isn't seasonal, however, is Calgary's love for professional wrestling. Which brings us to our sponsor for today's show, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Let's hear from the man himself. Hi, I'm Riley Flash. You may know me from WWE television when I carried the Macho Man's fancy chair to the ring or the time Papa Shango set my feet on fire. Uh, nowadays, I'm helping mold the superstars of tomorrow. So if you think you have what it takes to step in the ring, come on down to Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. And for a limited time, if you mention this ad, your first training session is completely free, other than a one-time non-refundable initiation fee. So if you think you have what it takes, then give me a ring, and I'll see you in the ring. Riley Flash is not affiliated with WWE in any way whatsoever. All sales final. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear. I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's going to have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well... Here we go. Uh. Hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Bret home right now? He is. Hang on a sec. Bret, two lovely people are here for wrestling training. He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's got to look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's housekeeper? OK, seriously, guys, I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home. No, and he hasn't been for years. The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said this kind of thing happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. 
At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez, so much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face, probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were gonna train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> But since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah, after striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a Whole other story.
Get your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? <coughs> Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey! What was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE like three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh. One more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omli. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. Alright guys, so that was the first hour of my career mode. It was about like 45 minutes without cutscenes and extra stuff I was looking into and stuff that wasn't as important to put in the video. But anyways guys, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to put it down in the comment section below. What do you think of the first hour? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are some things that you do like and you don't like? Like be specific. I want to know your opinions down below. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Go hamburger on that like button and I'll see you guys in another video. Deuces. Now I'm giving you all of me.